is working. Here we go. Am I loud enough? Hi everybody. It's me, Kirby. So glad that uh, we've got some people joining tonight. Um, I got some waves. Thank you so much. Give some waves. This is the first time we're doing something like this and hopefully the first of many. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm Kirby Hayborn. Welcome so much. Uh, we've got a special night tonight. We're going to have some special guests. Um, I'm going to be giving away this guitar on Wednesday. I'm going to tell you how to win it, uh, not giving it away today, but I'll be giving it away on Wednesday right after the premiere. Look at how cool this is. It's going to be backwards, I know, but it's a custom making good. I don't know if you saw my stories. Um, I uh, helped build this guitar, this bridge, this little part back here. Um, so glad. Chandler, how are you? So glad you're here. And we got some people from Canada all the way up north. Guys, thanks for joining so much. Okay, so uh, let me tell you what's going to be happening tonight. Um, I'm going to be uh, singing some songs. Uh, I'm going to be uh, talking to some special guests. I've got Mason Branning from Random Acts, Sean Johnson from The Johnson Files. Um, I've also got Jetta from Studio C, and uh, my little puppy probably might join. Um, one cool thing about Season 2 is that we upgraded We've got a map that shows where I go. So we start here and then I go all around. Let's see if you can see all that. I've been all over the country and I've done a lot of stuff. I've met so many amazing people. Um, so uh, all of this is to celebrate, there we go, to celebrate the premiere of Making Good season two, Wednesday. It's gonna be at 6.30 Mountain Time, 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern, and then if you're in California, then uh, it's whatever that is, minus one. So 5.30, I think. But you can watch it all on, um, on uh, BYU TV app. Okay, so thanks everybody for joining. Um, oh, Charlie's here, Charlie! Oh my goodness. Charlie, you guys should go follow him. He's with the Trenton Circus Squad, and he, um, and there's my dad, and Charlie is amazing. What a life-changing experience. So glad you're here, Charlie. Okay, Ron, thanks for coming, everybody. So, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I haven't played this song since uh, the, the Muttville episode. This is one of my favorite songs from season one. It's about the little dog, Sweet Sierra. And I'm playing it on this guitar that I will be giving away on Wednesday, right after the premiere. I'll tell you how we do that afterwards. And don't worry, I will be wiping this down with Clorox. Um, we're on quarantine. I hope everybody is having a good time getting to know their families really well. Um, so here we go. Um, I'm going to play a little bit of uh, Sweet Sierra. This is the song on this awesome guitar that's going to be given away on Wednesday. Oh, wait, hold a second. You saw me at the Olympics. I had a band called Bentley. We played at the Olympics. Thanks for reminding me of that. Such a cool time. Here we go. She's got a little limp, but a whole lot of love. She'll cuddle you all day, and you'll never get enough. No one can compare her to sweet Sierra, no. The white of her tail, there's a twinkle in her eye. You never have to worry about keeping her quiet. No one can compare her to sweet Sierra, no. And not judgmental at all She's complimental It's not accidental That she'll steal your heart Falling down No, not too many stairs up For sweet sea a cute derriere 
that sweet Sierra, no one can compare her, so take Sierra home, take Sierra home, take Sierra home. Oh, thank you guys, lots of hearts, that's so awesome, okay. So I just want to tell you, we're going to be giving away, thank you to Close for giving this guitar. We're going to set it down for a second. Um, so before we get into everything, oh, I know, I got to take her home. Um, so uh, people have asked, how did Making Good come to be? There's an amazing man named Greg Kiefer, who uh, we've worked with on projects before. One of the first things I ever did was a commercial, like a check into cash commercial commercial like 20 years ago with uh, Mr. Kiefer and um, he uh, and I had wanted to work together on another project and so he came up with this idea of me getting in over my head um, he knows that I love service and he knows that I like to paint myself into awkward corners and uh, it, then the show was born and then I said to him let's make it something that I really like uh, that really has to do with me. And I love music. I write music. Um, I perform music. And so I said, how about as a gift to every organization, I write a song and give it to that organization, um, which was a great idea in the beginning, uh, but it's always super stressful the night before I'm supposed to perform it. Because how it works is we go out, we find an organization, we go out for a three or four days, and usually the last day, I sing a song that I wrote that week. So it's, uh, it was a good idea in the beginning, not such a good idea uh, the night before. I'm supposed to sing it. Lots of stress. Um, so uh, I have some questions. There we go. Uh, Jake, how you doing? How do you win the guitar? Let me tell you how you do it. You go to the Making Good Instagram or Facebook. That's Making Good TV. And... Um, there's a post of Wednesday night's episode. It's a trailer of it. You're supposed to repost that. You like it. You follow Making Good. And then you post in the comments uh, a service idea. So it's pretty easy. Uh, that's all you got to do. And then on Wednesday, right after the premiere, I will pick a winner. <laughs> I hope it's me because it's really cool. My family has said, uh, do you get to keep it? No, I don't. But it's so cool. Like it, it's it's like there's the plastic or the finish around the guitar, so you can't feel the making good. It's underneath. The cool thing is this second season I took this. Uh, hey, it's, hi Isaac, how you doing? Um, so I took this guitar around with me. The cool thing about this is this neck detaches, and then it has a sleeve, and you can fit it in your backpack. So I was always getting stressed taking my big guitar on airplanes and stuff. And um, uh, this makes it so it just all fits in my backpack. So it's a true travel guitar. And this stuff is, I'm, I'll wash it off before I send it to you. Don't worry. Um, we're all in quarantine. Um, so uh, this is a carbon fiber. You can run over it with the car. Super cool. Okay, okay, so um, I guess I could take a couple of questions. We've got a second, um, actually one minute before I have um, Mason Branning from Random Axe on. Um, oh, somebody asked, how do you, what type of services do you do? Um, that's a, yeah, what type of service ideas? That's what it was. All you need to do is um, like say, a service that you like to do or a service that someone has done for you, quick little, you don't have much space. Just, uh, we want to help people realize that you can just do service wherever and any amount of service is perfect. And that was the whole idea with the show too, to inspire people to um, realize that they can just serve in their own backyard. There are so many great organizations from the first season we did Operation Barbecue, um, Life Changing, Muttville, Dog Changing, um, so many, so many awesome things. Season two gets even better. Okay, so I don't know how to request that Mason joins. So if Mason's there, 
Is, has he been there? Have you seen him request to be Mason? Okay, so I see Jetta's here. Maybe we'll go with Jetta. Mason, are you here? I hope you are. How does this work? Let me see. I gotta scroll back. Mason. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is the first time I've, I've done this. My dad's so proud of me right now. All the training, all the work, and here I am. Okay, so what do you do, guys? Okay, so I see there have been some requests that kind of stick out. He just requested, okay. I have my, my family here. There we go. Mason and go live with Mason. Works. I have my family back here. <laughs> They're sweating bullets with me because uh Mason we did it <laughs> oh my gosh Dude. this is this is the first time I've done one of these oh you look so I was worried great. I was how, messing it up how is your no it was me I don't know what I'm doing how's your quarantine going quarantine's great I mean yes I like I live like this already so <laughs> it was like not so much change yeah, they were like, everybody stay in your home. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to go into a deeper home or what? <laughs> That's funny too, because unless I'm out filming, I stay, I record audiobooks, And so I'm just in the booth yep. already isolated. I, uh -huh. I don't go out. I, we are kin kindred spirits in that regard. Because yeah, when, yeah. I'm out, when I'm out on Random Acts, I can do every, I'm, I, I can do all that, but then I come home and, the the energy is expended, and I come home, yeah. and I'm like, all right, let's go to bed. You can only be on for so long, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'd love to talk about that. So you're on Random Acts. Yeah. Um, and since my show is all about service and finding ways to serve, has there ever been uh, on an episode of Random Acts, or even just in your own life, where there's a moment of service that sticks with you? I'd love to hear. That that's a very good question. And first of all, I love making good. It's very, <laughs> very good. I love Random I, uh, My favorite episode is still, because I'm a barbecue guy, I love that barbecue episode. Oh, gosh. It's it is such a good so, one. It's so wonderful, and it looked like you had just such a great time. But anyway, um, the question, um, there's a lot of things that stick out in my mind, and I think one, it, it's hard to choose something that, you know, you say, whether it's from random acts or whether it's from my personal life, the way I see it is a, a kindness, an act of kindness, being good or making good, in, in your case, is it, it can never be just one. It can't just be, oh, well, that's just my work kindness. This is my life yeah. kindness. Or, and so okay. there's an experience that I remembered. And so it's like it's something I remembered very vividly from the, the act of kindness that was done for this woman, but then it affected me so much, like completely. And it was, we were doing this thing with a woman called Christine Paulson. She was, she worked at a hotel with her and, and she lived at that hotel with her two, her two teenage uh, kids. And um, she was looking for a place and she had looked for a place to live, an apartment to live with this um uh, through this organization and we we caught wind of that we said well what if we made it a surprise what if we did this thing where we had her show up to move like to participate in helping somebody else move into an apartment and then when she you know she showed up and was just so wonderful so nice but she didn't know that all of the new furniture all of the stuff we were moving into the apartment was actually going to be hers that this place she was moving people, or that she thought she was moving this other woman into was actually her home. And so we're the entire time we're like pretending like we don't know each other and we're like, oh, hey, thanks. Thanks for helping us out. And she was so sweet and just kept dropping little nuggets of kindness on us throughout the entire day. Yeah. Like, this woman completely deserves this. And so yeah. the reason why I, I choose this story is because we, 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 she left for like, you know, we're, we're furnishing the whole thing. And then they're, they're doing this reveal in the front room where they're going to hold out the keys and go, well, actually these keys are yours. This place is yours. And oh, I got pushed into a back room 
And I was like, I'm like behind a door, practically in a closet. And I'm just listening to the reveal go down. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. But at the same time, I was like, man, I wish I could be out there seeing this. I want, I'm like, I want to be a part of it. Yeah. And then something instantly clicked in my head and it said, kindness is not about you. Oh, wow. Kindness will never be about you. It's always going to be focused outwardly. And ever since then, it's just, it's never been a question where it's just like, you know, if there's an opportunity to do something good, you make it happen because somebody, somebody deserves it. Everybody deserves an act of kindness. And, you know, to, to, to look for the, the, pull the spotlight on you and be like, hey, no, I did that is never, it's not what it's about. And so it's like, you know, in your show, our show, that's never why we do it. We're there to highlight those doing it. Those who aren't looking for a handout, who then receive one. It's just, it's awesome. So that's, that's, that's one of my, that's my story. Oh, amazing. Thank you for sharing that. I'm writing that down right now. Like, I love that kindness. I, I've, I've got outward. it on a sticky note. You do? <laughs> so um, uh, people, Random Acts has its new season airing right now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, how many episodes are we in now for this so season? So I think, I think... The, I think we're in up to like probably episode six by now, and uh, we we actually we're we're neighbors. Our, yeah. our shows are neighbors. We're next door neighbors. Yeah, I love it. So you can watch you can watch uh, we we air at six o'clock, and then you can just bleed right into to making yep. good, which I think just caps like it makes it a perfect night. Wednesday night is a perfect service night. You can feel <laughs> good. You can cry. You can laugh. Make um, some cookies for the elderly while you're watching. Th that's what you do. Um, you can also, you can also um, yeah, so you can watch uh, Random Acts now, actually right now on the BYU TV app, so download right. that, and you can watch mm -hmm. it and see Mason and everybody doing a lot of good. Thank you so much, Mason. Um, you also, you. I wanted to mention this, you have an amazing artist page, too. Oh, thank What's you. That one? What's that called? That, I think it's uh, just at, uh, the way I call it is, it's Mason B artwork, but the way I remember it is just Mason Bartwork. It's just very artwork. easy. So it's ma at Mason B artwork. Because that's, you've been that's doing some love. great sketches or pieces of art while you've been quarantined. I've been yes. following and I love them. I just get to look up people's faces and just draw faces right now. It's been, it's been really a blessing. And I just, I just saw somebody comment, there needs to be a Making Good and Random Acts combined crossover episode. Let's do it. Let's and talk to some, see, to some execs. I just saw another great uh, comment too. Chad, how you doing? Uh, there's a beard on BYU TV, very progressive. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. I, I, I champion I champion the, the beard for, for BYU TV. <laughs> That's awesome. Mason, thank you so much. Everybody, you should go follow Mason at Mason Branning and follow his artwork at thank you. Mason Bartwork. Mason Bartwork. That's it. You got yeah. it. It's easy to remember when you go that way. Awesome. Uh, Kirby, thank you. You guys are doing thank awesome. You, I, I love it. Can't wait for uh, it. You're so awesome. I'm so glad we know each other and keep doing good. You're amazing. <laughs> This is crazy. I never would have thought. I'm on a live stream with Kirby Hayborn. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. I'm facing the sunset, too. I look beautiful right now. I know. Your lighting is phenomenal. I know. It's going to be gone in about 10 minutes. Okay, Nathan, <laughs> thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. We'll see you. Okay. Bye. Let's see if I did that right. I did. Am I still on? I'm still on. Awesome. Okay. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit right now um, and remind people that are just joining that the Making Good premiere is on Wednesday on BYU TV, and it's uh, at uh, 630 Mountain Time. So make sure you watch that or watch it on the BYU TV app anytime you want to do it. Um, so thank you to Mason. Follow him. Lots of fun. Um, my next guest uh, is going to be coming on in just a minute. Uh, it's uh, Sean Johnson from the Johnson Files. So, uh, Sean, if you wouldn't mind um, uh, just making a comment really quick so that I can know where you're at, um, that would be super fun if you're on. That would be cool. So let me just talk a little bit um, about season two. Amazing. Season two, bigger and better. I go to uh, Chicago. That's going to be this episode that's coming up. Okay, there he's. Okay, there he is. Okay. Thank you so much, Sean. Okay. Um, I go to Chicago. That's this episode this Wednesday. Um, I box with uh, inner city kids from Chicago. It's amazing and beautiful, and it's 
just amazing. Um, I went to San Diego. We made cakes for families that are recovering from illnesses. Um, I did one in Salt Lake, fixed up cars for um, uh, single moms. All of these, I got in way over my head and uh, kind of made a fool of myself just slightly. But, you know, it, it was all for the good. Um, I've been to Amarillo, Texas. We rescue wild animals. Um, been to New Orleans, planted trees. What else did I do? Uh, New York, we, made, we did makeovers for senior ladies. So fun. Uh, I went to California and I taught deaf children who have cochlear, cochlear implants how to speak. Wow, that was amazing. Um, there's a moment in that episode where these kids are saying their name. Uh, some of them, their families are hearing for the first time. So many amazing moments. Um, I helped kids with chronic illnesses. I coached them. Let me think. Uh, one of my favorites, I joined the circus with Charlie and everybody there at the Trenton Circus Squad. Uh, it's been an amazing season, and I know everybody's going to love every minute of it. Uh, it's bigger. It's better. One of the things that I love about Making Good that makes it different from other um, uh, reality shows is that we make sure we're so genuine. We highlight the organizations and make sure that um, people understand that you can do it, um, but it takes a lot of work as well. These people are amazing saints that are making the world a better place. The thing that I love most about this job, um, honestly, it's the best thing I've ever been a part of. You can see it when you watch the episodes. You can tell I love every minute of every show. Um, the thing that I love the most are, or is, I don't know, the, the crew, the guys that go out with me, um, they're the best guys in the world. We got Jack Mergist, we got Ron Johnson, we got uh, Greg Kiefer, he comes along all the time. There's me, we uh, have amazing uh, camera operators um, that everybody, I think it's like they're attracted to each other because they have service hearts as well. Um, there have been moments on every single episode where we could get better footage of almost, not exploiting, but seeing people suffering and needing help. And rather than continuing to film, everybody in this crew, this group of six that goes around to every place, they'll set down their cameras, they'll stop what they're doing, they'll go out and help. Um, that was evident in the barbecue episode um, where it was, we could have filmed people suffering from the devastation of the flood and these guys that I get to work with on these episodes put down everything, went out and, and helped and made a difference. So that's, uh, that's as teary as I'll get. Um, they're amazing, amazing people and I love being a part of it with them. Okay, so my next guest um, we've got here, Sean, let's see if I do it right. Sean Johnson from Johnson Files is here, one of the greatest accounts in the history of any account. Um, here he comes. Oh, look at how handsome he oh. is. We got oh, two kids in a row. <laughs> you don't have to get all misty eyed just for me, just because I show, is that what happened? Yeah, I was like, Sean's coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, How's it going? do amazing things with your Instagram. Um, super funny. People need to follow the Johnson Files just right off the bat. What are you doing, first off, in your quarantine? I want to know what you're doing in your quarantine. Um, I'm, uh, I got my day job, and then uh, I make videos for the night job. Um, so, yeah, Nicole and I just uh, trying to think of ideas. It's hard to think of any ideas that don't have to do with quarantine right now, and I'm, yes. I don't even know if anybody wants to laugh at anything but quarantine jokes right now. But. And you've done some awesome stuff. You've got one where you're part of the CDC. Um, right, yeah. It's so brilliant. So br I don't want to say anything. Yeah, it's so good. What so obviously you know making good premieres this Wednesday. Yes. Um and I know you'll be watching. Um you also have a show on BYU TV. Oh yeah, I'm a guest uh, cast member rotate on and off with Show Offs, so that's show -offs. A Great time to be watching Show Offs right now, musical improv show, so every episode is like a 20 to 30 minute improvised musical with full costumes and you've and been on it as well. The talented most talented people in the world 
doing amazing improv. Um, yes. And uh, you're so awesome on that. So funny. Thank you. And you're brilliant with music. Sean and I have traveled around the country doing improv that's together. Right. Um, that's kind of how we know each other is, uh, is doing improv. Performing, yeah. It's been a yeah. blast. So it's a lot of fun. And we, one of the things we do is we make up a full musical, kind of like what you do on show-offs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Oh, I have people asking if I'm solving a crime. It kind of looks like it. No, this is the background set for uh, the new episodes of Making Good. This year you'll see, like it goes, I go around the country and you see, I put a picture there. I I'm not solving a crime. It's just a but, it, but I can see why they think that, you know, you look like either a, a crazy conspiracy theorist or a brilliant detective. Yeah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> right, let's do the second one. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, Sean, you do a lot of good. I know you, and you've got an amazing heart. You've got an amazing wife that um, has an amazing heart as well. Um, and your channel is so positive. How, how have you seen, like, um, how are you using your channel to spread positivity and encourage and lift others? How are you doing that? My whole thing has kind of evolved into being let's laugh at the stuff that might annoy us or even, you know, ruin our day. Um, so a lot of my videos, not all of them, but a lot of them will focus on something that's a pet peeve that we've all experienced that we all can relate to. And if you just were to run into that in a day, you might let it get you down. Right. But if you can laugh at it right now in a video form, right, just watch a video that makes you see the funny in it, then maybe when it happens to you again, you can just kind of, chuckle instead of let it ruin your day right and so right. i just think uh you know n there's so many heavy things hitting people but let yourself be distracted for a second and laugh and just you know escape from that i love that and you're doing that you're giving it a great escape you're also i've seen you use your channel you're blurry now what happened Did oh I, do I blame comcast i don't know you know <laughs> Yeah. Um, you're doing good, uh, like spreading when there are good things happening, you let people know, um, oh, you have right. such a great following, a good supportive following. So people that are just joining, uh, I'm Kirby. Um, I think we had some people join from, from your channel just now. Um, and Sean cool. is with me right now, sort of blurry. Uh, we're celebrating the premiere of my show on making good. It's season two. It's on uh, BYU TV. You can watch it this Wednesday. 6.30. So Sean and I do improv around the country, um, and uh, I would love to do a little game with you, if that's okay. Let's do it. Am um, I still blurry? You're still blurry. I see people crying. Do you, I, to, do you want me to try and rejoin? I'm going to rejoin from another device and see what happens. Okay. Will you, will you, how do I do it? You'll say, hey, Kirby. I'll, I'll re-request it. So you okay, just so have to be really box. funny for like one, for like 30 seconds. Okay. Great. <laughs> cool. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to click X. Okay, there we go. Okay, yes, so there's a season two of Making Good, and it's the best thing I've ever been a part of. Um, if you've just joined, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, we now do these mini Making Goods. You kind of got a little glimpse of it. We had the idea, um, if you haven't gone to the uh, BYU TV YouTube channel or Making Goods YouTube channel, um, okay, oh, there he is. Looks like, okay, do I just click that? Okay. Go live with, okay, there he is. Oh, that's how you do it. Um, so I'm saying that uh, you can see we did, uh, no, ad. So sorry. I'm new to this, guys. Um, uh, we do a little, I, I had the idea to make cookies on the lawnmower episode, and uh, it kind of backfired. And we thought, hey, Let's make this a thing where I do little bits of service and little shorts. You can see it. Sean, you look great. I can see your beard fully now. That's better? Yeah, so good. Okay, okay. good. So um, we're kind of out of time, because, but I want to put you on the spot because that's when you shine the most. One of my favorite things that you do um, just in real life anyway, and then also on your Instagram channel, um, you do some raps. Yes. Make up on the fly, and it blows my mind how good you are. Um, so what I'd like to do, people that are just joining, I have Sean Johnson here from the Johnson Files. 
Um, we're celebrating the premiere of Making Good this Wednesday on BYU TV, 6.30 p.m. Okay, so, Sean, uh, I, do you have any beats that you, have, that you like? Hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm getting something here. Let me, let me get it. So while you're doing that, I'm going to ask everybody watching, Sean can rap about anything clean. Anything clean. This is a clean channel. So start putting your, uh, the, uh, any suggestions that you would like Sean to rap about. Is there any way? Oh, man, I'm not even about? warmed up. Let's see. Okay. I'm ready. Got my little. It's oh. going to. I'll turn it up. We've got a couple. We've got a couple, Sean. We've got uh, Sharpies. Daytime pajamas. Ooh. How do you feel about daytime pajamas? Daytime pajamas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you like that? I, I you know, you I got... never know. I never know until I try it. And if it sucks, I don't post it. But this That's is live, thing. so I'm not going to have that choice. <laughs> That's what's brilliant is that, Sean, you're just making this up right now. Yeah. Just off the spot. So turn yeah. that beat up so we can hear that. OK, I, I just want to make sure you can hear me and the beat. How's that volume with the beat? Is that good? Yes, there we go. Okay, I've got a couple more requests for daytime, daytime pajamas. Okay. You want to start with daytime pajamas? That's what we're let's, doing, right? Let's let's do that. And you're going. It's just me watching. I get okay, run. okay. Let me let me let me go back here so I don't run out of runway. Okay, guys, this okay. is Sean Johnson from Show Offs. You can watch him on BYU TV. You can also see yep. him actually doing improv. He's rapping about daytime pajamas. Yo. Listen up, yo, I'm here with Kirby Hayborn on the Instagram scene. We're both coming from our houses in the quarantine. And I know you're all laughing at home. I know it, I bet, because we're sitting here in t-shirts and a nice pair of sweats because it's comfortable and it feels so nice. And then we make ourselves a treat. We get the sugar and spice. We're overeating, sitting here in double feet pajamas. And if you want to listen to this rap, then you'll be jamming. And that's right, I know that you're all at home swooning because I'm here talking to my man it's Elder Calhounin yeah that's right you know he makes you smile yeah he would because he's the star of the TV show and it's called making good words what oh my goodness what oh. Dude, that was so great thank you oh my gosh Sean you are way too beautiful for this world <laughs> so amazing. Thanks for the light that you share, man. Make sure you follow Johnson Files and then go to johnsonfiles.com. You can see wherever Sean is doing improv. Sean is doing a lot of these uh, COVID night scenes. Yes. And uh, I realized the only way to make people get that full joke is to say COVID night scenes. <laughs> COVID night scenes. <laughs> yeah. If you do it slow like that. Um, yeah. So awesome. Sean, I love you, man. Thank you so much. That was so fun. Super talented. Um, watch show offs. Go to Johnson Files. And uh, you'll be watching the premiere of Making Good on Wednesday. I will, man. Good luck with it. Love what you're doing. And uh, yeah, everybody check it out this week. It was fun. Thanks for awesome. having me. You're the best, buddy. Love you, man. Bye. Love you, too. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Those are the type of people that I hang out with. I just, when I'm on stage with people like that, I'm supposed to hold my own, uh, but I just, I'll be doing a scene and then Sean will pull out something like that and just go, that's not the language that taught me in the MTC. Anyway, that's, I can't believe he rhymed Elder Calhoun. <laughs> Genius. Um, okay, so um, it's now time uh, to invite my next guest. Guess what? They also have a BYU TV show on. I don't know if you guys have heard of a little show called Studio C. It's a show on BYU TV. And there's a new cast and one of the rising stars, one of my family's favorites right now is Jetta. Let's see if it works. I pushed it. Jetta, please, here we go. Am I? <laughs> You don't have oh my gosh! I know I'm so embarrassed. I was like, <laughs> "How do I come on here without any facial hair?" I've been trying since I was born. Nothing yet, but I'm still. And busy. nothing yet. 
How are you surviving your quarantine? Oh my gosh, honestly, I'm doing okay. I'm really, really missing my family. But other than that, um, everybody over here is happy and healthy and just trying to stay busy and and are you all by yourself or do you have roommates? I have roommates. Actually, I live with Austin and April who are also on Studio C. So <laughs> Time out. definitely not boring over here. <laughs> so so you guys already have this new season that's coming up all in the can. It's done. It's done. Yeah, we actually filmed season 10 and season 11 together. Oh, gosh. So it was kind of intimidating going into it being brand new and being like, well, we're we're doing two seasons, two at yeah, once. But then you just came in and you've done such a great job. So many people Thank love you. the characters that you do. And I think it's because you have such a great heart and it comes through in all the characters that you do. Even though they're crazy and slightly slow, some of them, <laughs> um, there's such a great you heart. You know what to say. Art imitates life. Life Im imitates yeah. art. Like, art. You did it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not slow, just my characters. No, you're super, yeah. And I wasn't held back either. <laughs> oh man i wasn't man, I'm just old i'm old for my age um you yeah you're a kid <laughs> we all know it I'm we all know you're a kid <laughs> so so okay so what do you what like you're new to studio c but you have two seasons now under your belt what what do you like about being a part of the cast oh uh, so much this is uh the way you talk about making good is exactly the way i talk about studio yeah. c it's just like when it fits it just fits so well and it's been absolutely incredible from start to, to present. It's been amazing. But I think my favorite thing is the people like you were talking about the crew of making good. I like I have, I could write an entire novel on just the people that work on Studio C and the amazing people we get to meet because of it because we do live shows. And so definitely just the people because it what it takes to do one live show it takes like, all together, like 400 people. <laughs> like. Yeah. The huge crew, the the crew that made all the props, the makeup department, the wardrobe department, the producers, the EPs, the editors, the cast, and then you have the amazing um, live studio audience who are all right. like so supportive and give us so much love, um, even when we're totally bombing. <laughs> so it's <laughs> it's just definitely just the people. I'm I'm so grateful, and then even just the fans that we may not be able to meet in person, but that connect with us online and tune into our show every week. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm so grateful. I will not cry because I've already cried watching this live chat like three times. <laughs> I've already cried too. So stupid. It's, yeah. Man, so what's... so I, that, that makes sense. You're coming on to kind of an established show where there's yeah. half the people like and, and there's certain things. How you had to get over fear, right? You had to get over that fear of, okay, I'm coming in to, to not replace, but to add my voice to this. How do you do that in, in real life, in your regular life? When, like, because you have such a great spirit about you. How, how do you overcome fear of lifting other people and helping other people? How do you do that? Um, that's a great question. I guess, like, I guess when I think about service or, or helping another person, because I don't think people think about how scary it is to offer help to someone until it's time and they yeah. want to do it and then it's scary. So I kind of try to think about it as like, it's only as scary as it is to ask for help. And sometimes you just need help and sometimes yeah. you're too afraid to ask. Um, but I got a really good example of what just like fearless love looks like when my uh youngest sister i have five sisters they're all incredible but oh. my my youngest sister has down syndrome and she got aml leukemia when she was two oh. and um it was so scary and i was too young to even know how to ask for help i was in high school and i was like just terrified of the whole situation and it was incredible the way the people in our lives just like stepped up like people just gave so freely and fearlessly and they weren't worried about if it was the wrong thing to give or if it wasn't good enough or if it it they just did the best they can to be there for us and so we got like we got oh, casseroles yeah. from people that i've never oh. even met so, like they were so helpful and so loving how and old I, were you when this happened i think i was i want to say 15 or 16. so you like you're old enough to remember and see yeah that it's they're doing yeah. something kind yeah, and she, my sister is 12 now and she's cancer free. She beat it. And oh, it was, um, yeah, but it was just terrifying. And when you feel um, support 
and you feel love from people around you, people that may not even fully understand what you're going through, but just want to be there and offer help in any way they can. It's so incredible. And it's so much easier to just find the strength in yourself to like get through that situation. So yeah, yeah I would say, I would say just like, think about the person you're serving because what Mason said about how kindness right. is it's outward. To you, it yeah. is. Yeah. But it's so hard to like separate yourself from like the fear of, of not doing a good job at helping someone. Right, right. And Think then, about that. Not doing a good job of helping right. someone. Right. And yeah. um, at the end of the day, like when someone needs help, they'll, they will accept it. They will be grateful for it from, from anyone who's willing to be there and show up. And that's yeah. what I love about your show. I'm like, uh, I won't cry. I will not. <laughs> don't, don't try it, you. Um, uh. But just like that, that like, that like fearless love, I think is so incredible. And yeah. I, yeah, big fan, you're, big fan. <laughs> you're amazing, Jenna. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. <laughs> I love everything you do. And will you, um, I hope that you have a ukulele close by. Do you? What? What? Are you oh my God. Yes. Um, I don't oh, know if you're reading the comments. There are a lot of people saying elevator song, cardiac song. Yay! That um, that is one of the most, th that just is your personality. It's so sweet and also really funny and slightly off and <laughs> all about park. And I love thank it. You. Would you sing that song for us? I would love to. Thank you. Also, thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm going to oh. do the best I can. Okay. Awesome. I love this. I'm just going to watch. And uh, Matthew is usually finishes off the song. I'll just stop because I don't want to. It'll okay. get weird if I start singing two parts. Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go. We locked eyes on the elevator. Started my heart like an accelerator. We were going down, but my heartbeat was going up. Oh, it was such a sweet sensation. My cheeks flush like I'm on vacation. I'm trying, but I can't ignore the temptation. It seems I've fallen and I don't want to get up. <gasps> Somebody help me. I'm feeling dizzy. And I'm getting frizzy It's got me seeing stars Oh, we're standing here waiting I feel like I'm fainting But I'm not complaining Cause maybe you know CPR We got off on floor two And everything I guess I never loved you. I was having a legitimate heart attack. <laughs> I'm on the floor of the elevator. Does anyone have a defibrillator? I thought I was lovesick, but these symptoms are lining up. Oh, it was such a sweet sensation Mixed with ventricular fibrillation I might need some medical attention It seems I've fallen and I can't get up I wanted a kiss, got atherosclerosis That was the ambulance's diagnosis but romantically, I'm hopeless. At least love is a lot more painless. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that you rhyme defibrillator <laughs> that's actually how i ended up writing the entire song was because of the word defibrillator <laughs> i love that it's so funny because sometimes you do like you think am i falling in love or is this a heart attack and in am your I case, having it was a heart, an attack. heart attack yeah yeah it's the same <laughs> oh in my experience 
It is. <laughs> Jetta, you are so amazing. You can watch Studio C and see Jetta shine bright. It's on BYU TV. And Jetta, make sure you watch Making Good this Wednesday. I um, will. I will definitely be watching. It's going to be a fun episode. Okay. Thank you so much. I love you, Jetta. Can't wait. Love you. See you Wednesday. Bye. There we go. Oh, we did. You guys, oh my gosh. What a great live stream this has been so far. Um, I think I can post this picture up while I'm doing this. A friend of mine said, show this. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yes. Can you see that? The comments are kind of in the way. No? Okay. How am I doing this? Am I still on? Let me go back. I pushed something that now, okay, there we go. How do I go back? There we go. Okay. So you can see this little thing up here. It's uh, the Close guitar that you can win. Thank you to Close. Um, you need to watch the episode on Wednesday. It's a making good travel guitar. Coolest thing. Can drive over it. I take this with me um, when I'm singing on the road, and it's beautiful, and I love it. Um, so make sure you do that. Uh, you can enter. You go on to the Making Good Instagram or Making Good Facebook page, and you can enter there. By um, you follow the making good, you uh, post about service that you've done, you repost the video for this coming episode on your social media, and um, then we pick one on Wednesday right after uh, the 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 show. So do that; it's gonna be so fun. All right, so we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, I would love to answer any questions that you might have about the show or about why my hair's doing this thing. Um, but we got to do it kind of quick because the sun's setting and I won't look as pretty in like 10 minutes. So um, any questions that you have, I would love to answer. Would I ship it to California if you won? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it'll, it'll go. Um, oh, thank you so much. How's my son? He's doing great. We're all self-quarantining uh, now. We're not going outside for anything. We knew that uh, our, my son came home from uh, his mission in El Salvador and uh, it's kind of hard, you know, you think it's going to be a certain way, but then um, it's a, things change. But he's amazing. He's strong. Uh, good example to me. And I said I wouldn't cry anymore. So that was a good question. Um, but he's good. So we're quarantined right now. So if you want to leave any cakes or anything on the front step, we will accept them. But you got to run away. We can't interact at all. Because we kind of had the choice. Either put him in a room all by himself or hug and kiss and love. And we chose the latter. So we're all quarantined now for 14 days. Okay, um, good question. How long was my son out? <laughs> it's all about my son. Uh, he was out for eight months. He actually finished eight months. I want to say today, but my wife will say tomorrow. But I'm going to say today because um, it feels like it's the end of the day. He loved it there. Thank you for asking. Um, the show is streaming. Chandler, how you doing, buddy? Show is streaming on the BYU TV app. You can watch it on the BYU TV app. And then I don't know how I get rid of that thing anymore. It's going to be up there the whole time. Uh, so fun. Um, so you know how to win the guitar. Um, do I just click this and then it stops? Then we go, oh, that's how you do it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's see any other questions. Um, where did I go on my mission? I went to the Dominican Republic. Um, how do I find out about the different service groups? That's a great question. There is someone at the Cosmic Production Office. Um, there's actually a big team of people um, that do all the research. Sebastian is amazing. He contacts the organization. We narrow them down to ones that, one, they're, they're serving a unique need in a cool way. Two, uh, it has to be something that's really hard for me to do. It has to be very physical. I have to sweat um, and you know, get out of my comfort zone, just to show that that's what's fun about service. You don't have to know how to do it, just jump right on in. Um, okay, hey, Robbie, how are you? Uh, good question, Robbie. Uh, how or what is my favorite location I visited for the show? Gosh, it's, every one is different. And it's like, which one of your kids is your favorite? Oh, they're all right here, I can't tell you. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I loved the circus and that's uh, gonna be so fun because I, I do things that are scary um, and I met some beautiful people there. Um, in Chicago, I boxed and I got way in over my head. I don't know, every place has been great. Do you know, I think I like Chicago as a city though. 
the best. I've never been to Chicago. I walked out and it, I just loved Chicago. It was a cool place. Um, okay. Uh, what's my favorite quarantine activity? Uh, we got a bunch of games to celebrate, mission approved games. Um, so uh, we'll be playing those in the next uh, couple of days, actually after this. I love playing the guitar, singing with my family. Um, that's a fun one. Um, I love uh, my daughter. What are you saying? <laughs> Oh, they're telling me to segue. They're telling me to wrap it up. I said I want to do this in 45 minutes. Oh, Charlie, I miss you too, buddy. Um, is there any, have I been to Arizona? No, I would love to do that. Uh, well, this is a good question too. Uh, which episode has put you most outside your element? Probably this season. Um, I would say, gosh, boxing and maybe the circus. Th those two. Um, that was a great question, Jack. Jack is one of the greatest men in the world. You should follow him. He's funny, talented, and he's also a producer on the show. So uh, he's very talented. Um, okay, let's, uh, my wife's saying wrap up, wrap up. Okay, D this is a good question about my son. People are wondering, we were wondering too. Uh, we won't know if he's gonna be assigned to another mission uh, until the end of his quarantine. He probably will go stateside. Um, so that's it. So I want to say, hey, Chandler, thanks, buddy. I know the sun's going down. Um, so I want to say thank you, everybody, for watching. I want to thank Mason and Sean and Jetta, some amazingly talented and beautiful people inside and out, making a difference in the world. Make sure you follow them and you're uplifted with everything that they do. Um, and uh, yeah, watch the show this Wednesday. It's a good one. <laughs> And make sure you follow Making Good on all the social media so that uh, you can win the, the guitar. And um, I think that's it. Okay, so, um, oh, Diane, hi, thank you, I love you. Um, so usually I write a song when I'm on set, um, when I'm learning um, how to uh, do whatever th these people are doing. So, um, the boxing episode, I was gonna write kind of a funny song, but it was such a tender moment. You gotta watch on this Wednesday. Um, no thanks, I'm better than Tom Cruise. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, you gotta watch this Wednesday because it's the boxing episode. It was such a powerful, beautiful moment. I was gonna hold up this little boom box kind of, um, what's the show, uh, Say Anything, you know, with John Cusack where I was gonna inspire the kid to just keep going and it was gonna be a funny song. In fact, Jack and I wrote this fun little thing together um, and uh, luckily we had smart people on the, uh, the episode, like James, he's a, an amazing cinematographer, um, say, it, we all realized it's not, it's gonna ruin the moment if I hold that up and we do something funny. So that's the only episode that the song I wrote doesn't make it in. So I came home from that and um, I processed all my feelings um, and that's one thing that I do after every episode. I come home and I tell my family, I cry, tell them step by step what happened, and then I sing them the song. And um, so this one, there wasn't a song. I showed them the funny song, but it didn't work because um, the, the young man, uh, Jalen, you gotta watch the episode, so great. Um, it just wasn't right. So I told my family about it, and um, I talked to my daughter, my 16-year-old, who has a beautiful voice, and I said, let's write a song together. So the song that appears in this episode actually is a song that I wrote with uh, my 16 year old daughter. So I'm going to invite her on um, and also my 11 year old to sing this with me. Um, let me move out of the way. I have, let's go like this. Okay. So um, this guitar is a, is a different guitar. I'm using this because it has an effect that uh, adds kind of a, a cool sound to it. So let's see if that works. Um, so come on in, come on in. Um, here are my daughters. This is my daughter. She Hi. wrote the song with me. This is my other daughter that is going to be right uh, singing with me. Let me turn this down. So there's like an effect thing that you can put on the back. The guys at Close told me about this. Um, so here we go. So, um, did you like 
writing a song with me? Yeah, it was cool to write it with him. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I know. And you're back there. You're a lot brighter. It's darker when you look right here. Okay, so slide in so we can see. Um, okay. I got to go like this. So hopefully everybody out there that um, you realize we're all in this hard thing right now, being quarantined. Um, and just like this young boy, Jalen, he was going through some hard times, but he had people help him um, uh, be the best he could be. So this is a song that we wrote. And hopefully everybody that's watching, I know this is a hard time that we're all going through right now. Um, Hopefully this gives you some hope. Let's stick together. We'll make it through. Here we go. Your mind is heavy. Your heart is bruised. You can't shake the burden, no matter which way you choose. You've almost made it through. You fight through pain and you fight through doubt. Fight through it all until you get on. Life is hard in the middle of Nothing will change if you give up the fight. So don't give up the fight. Don't give up the fight. There's so much you've given. Way to hide the pain. And you know you're better than your breathing again. There's nothing left to prove. You fight through pain and you fight through doubt. Fight through it all. Until you get out Life is hard in the middle of the night Nothing will change if you give up the fight So don't give up the fight Don't Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, ladies, for helping out. I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Thank you for all the service that you are doing in this hard time. Everybody, remember, don't give up the fight. We're going to get through this together. Watch Making Good this Wednesday at the 30, I don't know, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, all around the country. Tell your friends to do it. Uh, this is the best thing I've ever been a part of. I love you guys, and I'm so thankful that I get to do this. All right. Have a good night. Bye.